All right, so it's been one week since I inoculated some straw with blue oyster spawn. And I wanted to check in and show you the progress on the spawn run. I can see in some of these bags that you see the white growing across the straw pretty aggressively. And it's looking good. You know, it's a little warmer down here than I normally like it. It's hovering around that 75 to upper 70s when I'd rather it be 65 to 70 degrees. But it seems like so far the higher temperature is making things move a little faster. I'm guessing that within a, another week week and a half these things are really going to be far along and ready to go into the mushroom grow tent now i noticed when i lifted this i saw a little mycelium fuzz popping out the bottom there that's fine it's not mold or anything and it's my first time growing in a mason jar with this kind of top and the reason I put this type of top on was just to let it drain. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out this top with a little something different that allows less airflow and then flip it over like this for now. The bags are looking pretty awesome. Seeing that spawn run. Looking good, looking good. And the container in the back, you don't really want to open it up and look inside of it. You just sort of want to trust the process. And eventually you'll see some little mushrooms trying to pin out of these holes. And that's what you're going to want to look for. And then once you start seeing some mushrooms pinning out of these holes, you'll know it's time to put them in the grow tent. That guy right there. As you can see now that I took the lid off of the mason jar, that fuzzy white mycelium growing across the straw, it looks great. It's doing its job. The straw is basically food for the mushroom mycelium. It's going to eat it up. And then once it's established and full on food, it's going to start to try to reproduce and grow some mushrooms. Okay, so I replaced the plastic sprouting lid with some plastic wrap, and I just set the plastic wrap in place by screwing a metal ring around it. And then I poked two holes in the plastic because you do have to let the mycelium breathe in this process. So it's gonna need a little bit of air but the sprouting lid, I think was giving it too much air. Looking good. I'll update you guys on the process for my jar and the rest of my containers and bags in another week. So this will be week two of the spawn run since I inoculated my straw with blue oyster grain spawn. And things are moving pretty fast, actually. And I think it has to do a lot with the warm weather. I'm noticing some pinning going on on my container here. And that's a sign that these mushrooms are ready to go into the tent. Not seeing any pinning on the bags yet. But in the container, I am. And I think I'm about ready to introduce this container to high humidity in my tent. Let's check out the mason jar here. I'm not seeing any pinning yet on the mason jar yet or the bags, but this sign right here is definitely a sign 
that it's ready to go and start fruiting. Today, I am going to introduce this guy to my mushroom tent. Start giving it some high humidity. All right, looking good though. Only two weeks of incubation and one of my containers ready to go. I'm gonna give the bags a little more time and get these guys fruit and hopefully have some mushrooms soon. Awesome. So as you can see, when growing mushrooms, there's gonna be a lot of variabilities that can change. The time you'll need to incubate your mushrooms biggest variability is usually temperature. The hotter it's going to be, your mushrooms will fruit faster and you'll have to keep a closer eye on. They, they tend to like a temperature that's a little cooler between 65 to 70 degrees. And my basement's been staying between 75 and 79 degrees for the past couple weeks now because it's summertime. My grow tent right here behind me, it's actually empty right now and I'm going to fire it up today put that first container that's pinning in it probably over the course of the next week I'll start introducing some more of these bags to the tent as well and then I'll give you an update and see how things are going all right guys I hope you like that video have a great day and stay healthy